This is disgusting. Oh, my skin is crawling. I need to fast forward the feet. Hey fellow Force users, what is up? It's a Silver Channel fan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, time for a new episode of The Mandalorian. I have not seen it yet. So in the last episode, we were introduced to Cobb Vanth, played by Timothy Oliphant, and they worked together, he and Mando, to defeat the Crate Dragon um, with the help of the Tusken Raiders. It was a pretty solid start to the season. We also saw Boba Fett at the end, so that was a nice twist. I'm looking forward to seeing what this episode has in store for us. Now, I don't know if we'll see Boba Fett again in this episode or not, or if they'll leave him for a later episode just to kind of build the suspense a little bit more. It looks like this episode synopsis is the Mandalorian must ferry a passenger with precious cargo on a risky journey. So that that kind of sounds to me like oh, so much noise outside. Oh my god! Shit, man. It's so hard to film sometimes. That sounds like the part in the trailer where we saw Sasha Banks's character and they were on some sort of ferry. Um, so I anticipate that that's what we're gonna be seeing in this episode. So let's get right to it with the reaction. I wonder why they showed the droid again. It looks like they're still on Tatooine. Shoot, will they show Boba again? I think so, not too soon. Oh my god, are they setting him up for a trap? Will they see it coming? Oh shit. Oh my god. So they're probably trying to get the armor. I wonder if Boba Fett sent them. Or they're after the child. <gasps> Don't you Wait. dare. If you put one mark Don't on the place, you will be able to. Okay. The weapons? Or oh, the jetpack? Yeah. Mando, you better get that jetpack back. Don't let him get away. Mando. Mando. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, their relationship is the cutest. I knew he wasn't gonna let him get away. <laughs> That's what you get. Karma. Oh. I'm just making me dizzy, that part. Wow, he really cares for that little guy. It's so cute. Our girl again. I love her. She's so funny. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. They're using the engine from the ship to cook the meat. Looking at the eggs like that. Do you know the husband? No, I just met her 10 minutes before you walked in. And I said, I'm an excellent judge of character. That meat looks pretty good. Yeah. Whether it's pirates or warlords, I don't know if I trust her. Either ends up with a nice chunk of change mm -hmm. or your ship. I'll, uh, to Abaka. He needs the other lady to help him translate. He's curious. Does he think that's where he came from or something? 
What are you doing with those eggs, baby Yoda? Just gonna leave her there? I don't trust her, man. She's gonna mess with the cores. <gasps> don't tell me to eat it. He's eating it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They sleep together. Oh, that's so cute. She did something. Shut up! He told you to be quiet. How is he gonna get out of this? Okay, we just gonna last. Oh my God, Dave Filoni! <laughs> I love his cameos. Oh, this is the part in the trailer I think where he gets shot down. I'm pretty sure. Pretty good pilot. Anakin and run for his money. <laughs> Not the trip she signed up for. That's too bad. Get your own ride next time. It's weird there's no music during the scene. I think there should be some type of music for you. Oh, so he didn't get shot down. He just crashed. Or landed. Oh, shit. Are they gonna sink? They're planning for, I'm sure. <gasps> Where's Baby Yoda? Oh my god, he's eating them again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Here I was thinking he was looking at them, thinking maybe that's where he came from or something, and no, it was just food. I bet she's trying to tell him something important, eh? That he won't realize till after the fact or something. <gasps> he wants to sleep next to daddy. There is a droid that they showed in the recap at the beginning. Oh, she's using it as a trainer. What the fuck do you want me to do? Maybe the deal is off. I guess those are just toys for children. What the fuck do you want them to do? They got no ship. They're gonna die if they don't figure out something quick. The last thing he's worried about is your freaking eggs. I like that rendition of the theme song. I don't know if you guys hear that. Oh, footprint. Uh, we should take off. Maybe we should do that. There's no ship. What is that? Is she laying more eggs? <laughs> Just chilling in the hot tub, in the hot spring. Just spreading the seed everywhere. What is that? What are those? Oh my god, he's just the cutest thing. He's hungry. Lando should have given him some of that. Uh, dragon meat before they left. I bet she's gonna find something or something's gonna happen or something. Like he's gonna wake them all up or something. <gasps> They're all waking up. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't take Baby Yoda anywhere. I swear. Those spiders? 
Oh, fuck no. I do not like spiders, guys. I mean, I don't mind them, but not when they're like that. Oh, no. That's disgusting. Oh, my God. Oh, no. That makes my skin crawl. Oh, my God. This reminds me of, like, Harry Potter. Oh, and there's a mother one. Oh, my God. Ew. Why don't you just stand there and look at it? This is disgusting. Oh, my skin is crawling. I need to fast forward to feet. Ew. Ew. Oh, I should think this episode like a five just for showing this part. This is disgusting. Oh, you better run faster, girl. Oh! She pulled a general grievous. Now she's on all fours. Mando can never have a relaxing time. It's always some shit that's happening. Yes. Pretty visible I use that at the time in the Chrome books too. You caused this, you little rascal. Oh, they're cutting on the ship now. Oh my god. Wow, what the hell? Seal the door, man. Maybe you ought to use the force. have to regain function of the ship somehow. Oh! Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh my god. This is not good at all. Did someone else shoot him? Who? Mandalorians? Maybe the other Mandalorians they're looking for? It seems like a ship or a group. Oh, the Republic! Actually, I was gonna say them. But are they going to arrest him now? Lieutenant Gavin. Is this true? Am I under arrest? Who's that? Technically, you should be. I'm blinking. But these are trying times. So they're not helping him? He's going to leave my man down there? If that happens, we'd all be dead. Sweet dreams. How can he be so chill? Baby, you gotta stop looking at that food now. Oh my god. Oh shit. That's the ending, eh? I gotta listen to my music. Oh, I just said the frog lady was voiced by Dee Bradley Baker. Oh, that's nice. I wish I could find a way to get um, Ashley Eckstein in there somehow. At least. If you're not going to have her play Ahsoka, that's the least they could do. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I actually had to look up uh, Lieutenant Davin, who that was. I knew from how he was talking about um, apprehending those people that were wanted by the Republic that they were referring to the episode from season one where Mando went on a mission with those other bounty hunters. I think they were bounty hunters. And they ended up betraying him and then he ended up basically uh, capturing them for the Republic and the Republic caught them in the end. So I knew they were referring to that episode. And when I googled Lieutenant Davin, it was the character played by Matt Lanter, aka Anakin Skywalker from The Clone Wars. Um, so that was kind of a nice little reference that they made there. So now let's talk about the whole episode. Okay, you can join me for the review. You caused a lot of shit in this episode, okay? You caused so much trouble this one. Oh my gosh. First of all, I really like the scenes with Baby Yoda, um, especially the ones that showed him and Mando's relationship. I've mentioned before, I really like the relationship. It really is kind of like a father-son, and you can tell how much he's actually grown to care for this child from season one compared to now. And I just kind of wonder if the writers are, you know, building up that relationship, adding so much depth to it to kind of make it more emotional for a potential departure. You know what I mean? Like if it gets to that point where he has to leave Baby Yoda somewhere with his own kind, then we're going to feel that uh, void a lot more 
if they're able to build up the relationship. So I kind of wonder if that's what they're doing, kind of preparing us for an emotional farewell if they ever do separate. Kind of like with Anakin and Ahsoka and the Clone Wars, they kept building up their relationship and by the end, when they went their separate ways, like you really felt that and it was very emotional, very intense. Um, I liked how the episode kind of kept me guessing. I was kind of always wondering, you know, what's going to happen next? How are they going to get out of this? Um, you know, I did doubt that that lady in the beginning. I thought she was sketchy. Sorry. Um, but it didn't, it doesn't seem like she was. And I, I think it's probably going to be continued into the next episode, it looks like, because they didn't exactly finish that storyline. And maybe that's when we'll see that part in the trailer where um, Sasha Banks appears. I thought that that was this episode, but it obviously wasn't. Um, but yeah, I do expect this story to definitely continue. She still has to get her eggs to her husband or wherever she's trying to get them to. That seems to be their main mission is protecting those eggs so they can protect her line and her, her species speaks to the underlying theme of this season is trying to kind of reunite species with their own kind. You heard that mentioned uh, time and time again when referring to the child um, and then now you have this kind of similar theme in this episode where you have this lady who's trying to preserve her own kind and her species. That's a recurring theme that I've noticed this season so far. I did not like that scene with the spiders. Yeah, I just... Uh... It was a nice twist because you weren't necessarily expecting that and it kind of started with baby yoda eating the eggs first and then oh look what else he's eating and then next thing you know it ends up being you know a cave full of spiders or whatever they're called in in the star wars universe oh my god that just made my skin crawl and again as i mentioned during my reaction it really reminded me of that scene from Harry Potter. I can't remember which movie it was. Um, I will have to look that up and see, but I know there was a movie where they were in the forest and then there was a bunch of spiders um, that they were running from. So that was kind of cool. It was nice to see Dave Filoni again. Um, I love these cameos, keep them coming. Um, and it just shows, you know, that he really is passionate about the project he's working on. You know, not only is he working alongside Jon Favreau and, you know, as a producer, but the fact that he's also in the actual show is kind of cool as well. And the last time I think we saw him was in that same episode from season one where uh, Mando apprehended those uh, bounty hunters that were wanted by the Republic. And that was mentioned in, in this episode as well. So it was nice to see Peli again, Peli model from season one, um, who was also in the previous episode. As always, uh, she was funny and she added a lot of humor to the episode. Yeah, overall, I would say this episode, it was kind of like just okay for me. I did love the scenes with this little guy. It definitely was a highlight of the episode. Um, and I love seeing him and Mandel together. I do like that it kind of kept me guessing. And it was kind of mysterious that way, but I just, I guess I kind of feel like I was expecting something more to happen. I don't know that I liked it as much as I did the previous episode, which maybe is understandable because the previous episode was a premiere, right? So, you know, it's expected to probably be a little bit more um, exciting, you know, because you're starting off the season. But yeah, but this episode kind of felt like a little bit okay to me. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't necessarily spectacular in my eyes. This episode, I would probably give a six or a six and a half maybe let me know down below in the comments if you guys agree with my rating or not or do you think i was being a little bit harsh i know that they're probably going to do like much better and have much more in store for us you know later on in the season that they're just obviously saving it's like game of thrones you know you have good episodes you have episodes that are a little bit slower and i think maybe this one was one of those episodes that was a little bit slower minus that disgusting spider scene that I still can't get out of my head. I'm excited for us to finally see these Mandalorians that they keep uh, referring to. When are we gonna see Boba Fett again? And are we gonna see Sabine and Bo-Katan as being one of the Mandalorians that um, that Mando is looking to meet? So I, that is all still to come. And I know when that does come, it'll definitely get more exciting for sure. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching uh, my video again. Um, don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe i will do the same back and yeah let me know what you think or what you thought of the episode rather um was there anything that you were kind of expecting to happen or waiting to see um any predictions that you might have for the upcoming episode i will respond to the comments as always and until next time guys take care and see you in the next video 
says bye. See you in the next episode. And I'll try not to cause so much trouble next time. <laughs>